no. Enough's enough. Two hours listening to you tell me why I used to wear a giant weapon on my arm. I hate to disappoint you, Rung. But sometimes a fusion cannon is just a fusion cannon. It would help if you weren't so evasive. If you're worried about people listening in, don't be. The office is soundproofed. No one can hear us. Let's try a different tack, shall we? Significant encounters. The three most influential figures in your life. Who were they? And how did your paths cross? You and I first met a long time ago. <sighs> McAdams Oil House. Fourth Cycle 496. I don't recall. I suppose you were unconscious. You were thrown onto my table by two cadets. Did you say 4th Cycle 496? According to this, you spent the night in a police cell in Rodian, where you were assaulted by a one-eyed guard. Is that... Towards Peace, your autobiography. Don't call it that. You make it sound small. You make me sound small. I was writing a polemic. I was going to change the world. You did. I suppose so. But not for the better. You go on to make a connection between your experience at the hands of this guard. I say hands, you've written claws, and the first draft of the Decepticon Manifesto. My life is a succession of decisions made in confined spaces. Mind shafts, alt modes, cells. You know what I find interesting about this book? Not long after its publication, you issued a revised edition, and then deleted every copy of the original. By which I mean nearly every copy. Where did you find that? It was a gift from a fellow bibliophile. She found it in a howling town on the far side of Troja Major. Here's a little... whatever, a little thing. A disclosure. An insight. Revisionism. I've always been fascinated by it. By the idea of going back and altering things. Make no mistake, an edit is a profoundly aggressive act. As Freud once said, we grieve for the murdered word. If you want to get the measure of an author, don't look at what they've left on the page. Look at what they've taken away. I read this edition from beginning to end, trying to work out what you changed. Couldn't find anything. Not a thing. But then I went back to before the beginning. And there it was. A dedication since removed. Megatron. I sense we might never speak like this again. So forgive me when I take this opportunity to ask you. Who is Terminus? By the pious pools! We're under attack! No, no, I don't think so. A power surge, maybe? Where are you going? My quarters to refuel, if you can call it that. And then the bridge. I don't want Ultra Magnus getting too comfortable in my chair. I dedicated the book to Terminus for the same reason I went back and removed his name. He taught me not to get attached. Megatron, wait. Why did you want to talk to me? What's this all about? Surprised. Old scores and all that. We both know this was going to happen sooner or later. 
I got bored of waiting for you to make your move. So I figured I'd go first! It's been a long time since Rodin. You do remember Rodin, don't you, Buckethead? I remember you attacked me. Yeah, and you immortalized me in your diet. No one's immortal, trust me. Oh, I don't know. I'm doing all right for myself so far. Five million years and still kicking! You have me to thank for that. Think of all the times you've been on the ropes. Not the wreckers, I mean you personally. And your attackers have backed down. That was me. That was my influence. Let him live. The second order I gave after declaring war. You've always ugh, prided yourself on being a fighter. And yet you've never been in a fair fight. The odds have always been stacked in your favor. Because everyone knew if they killed you, they'd have to answer to me. Why would you do that? How dare you do that? You made me. You taught me that words were weightless without force. And for a long time I was grateful. Even when others tried to save me, I always returned to you. And what you did to me in that cell. Shut up! What the hell? Where's my freaking arm? A very long way away. Thanks to Shockwave's administrations, my inners are run out of pan dimensional pinpricks, transit tunnels, and dead portals. I'm happy to pretend this never happened. If you remove that graffiti from my door. No sign of the pyrobots, of course. Shirking again. That's the problem with this ship. No work ethic.